Hey, good afternoon. Uh, so welcome uh, here at the Virtual Product Expedition. So tell me, who are you and, and, and what do you work for? Uh, my name is uh, Astrid van Tilburg and I work for For Your Buurt. And that's a, a crowdfunding and, and crowdsourcing platform for local civic projects. Okay, sounds cool. Uh, I've heard of Office before, so it's a pretty nice platform. And a question, so uh, what's the history of the platform? So, so, so who uh, invented it and, 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 what's the pro and, uh, what, and what was the process? Um, our platform was launched in uh, January 2013. And we started as, a, as an experiment, experimental project within uh, Kennisland. That's uh, a think tank uh, for social innovation projects. And we were founded by Kennis Land and Network Dem Democracy uh, together. Um, and we experimented with the question, does uh, crowdfunding work for civic projects? We knew it worked for entrepreneurs and for like more art projects, but we didn't know whether it would be like a good instrument for uh, this kind of projects, like um, uh, local festivals, uh, a bee house, uh, a kitchen for a community center, that kind of uh, projects you should think of uh, then. Um, so we started as a, as, as a project, we found out it worked out really fine, uh, especially because it's not just a funding uh, instrument, but more like a way to build a community around the project. Um, so from that moment on, we started to work on uh, an independent organization and form a business model to like gain funding for, for uh, uh, the platform. And since last January, we are an independent organization. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so congratulations with that. And when you started with the idea, um, how did you define the, 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 uh, 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 the success? So when you started, you, uh, it, it started as a, as a project, as an experiment. Mm -hmm. um, and when you started with that, uh, you were also thinking about, okay, when is it successful? So, um, well, the, f the, the first aim was to uh, find out um, how can crowdfunding be successful for this kind of projects. So the moment we uh, had, had, had like a couple of successful crowdfunding campaigns and we saw that crowdfunding really was an added value uh, for like the success of the project itself. So not just the funding, but for instance, we had um, at some kind of a, a community uh, a center thing in uh, Gouda and they used crowdfunding for like well to, to decorate the place and to to buy tables and chairs and paints uh, things just like the more the more visible part um, and the result of the crowdfunding was that uh, in that a lot of people felt like this is our place we cr we like realize it together and a lot of people are using it now, I think, also because of the crowdfunding. So when we had a, a couple of examples like that, um, we decided, okay, this, well, at least the start is a success because we showed how it can be uh, a good thing for uh, projects like that. Okay, so, so people can, <coughs> can uh, put uh, local projects on the website mm -hmm. and then does the money also comes uh, most of the uh, money also comes from the uh, fr from the same uh, area? Uh, yes, um, the money oh, well mostly comes from uh, the, the the network of the people who start the project, and because we ha always have local projects, the majority comes from um, like a local network. But it can also be like f a family members or friends of like the the starting group, um, and. We also we ha we like I was uh, talking about a bee house uh, project, and we also have had like a, a, a marathon in Amsterdam, um, and then you see that like people who like running uh, from all parts of the Netherlands support that project because they want to participate in that marathon. So then it's yeah, a bit so less local. <coughs> yeah, and, and uh, uh, then also the benefit uh, is the money to to make the project happen but also the involvement of the crowds or of the local crowds uh, in, in the project and also in the goal that is being uh, uh, succeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, people always get a reward when they do a donation through a platform. Mm -hmm. So uh, in case of a marathon, people like uh, got a t-shirt 
of the marathon, but also they 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 paid for like to start the the forty kilometers or the ten kilometers. So they subscribed but, uh, for the marathon as well. Yeah, but then uh, uh, you also can, can can have a discussion of of which part is uh, our incomes that will normally also have been there, uh, and which part is really additional funding through the crowdfunding campaign. Um, I, it's not really a discussion. It's uh, we have like a variety of projects. Some of them are like more have more symbolic rewards, uh, and others are more a, a, a pre-sale campaign. And then uh, the crowdfunding is a way to well build a community, but also uh, a marketing tool to like bind people to your so sometimes a company or your event uh, and make sure they attend it. Okay, cool. And and. Um uh, you also set your also a crowdsourcing platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in what way do you provide the, uh, the crowd or the project owners uh, tools to to manage their crowds? Yes. Um, well, uh, the crowdsourcing uh, part is most visible on uh, the crowdfunding page. Um, I, of course, you can donate uh, an amount of money, but you can. Uh, some projects also ask for like volunteers, specific materials, uh, knowledge, and then you can like subscribe for a specific task and send a direct message to uh, the project owner so, like okay uh, i can help with this because i have a design background and i can help you with designing this sign or uh, designing your website or whatever is needed and do you also see in practice that's, that the project owners are really using uh, their crowds uh, to to make their success uh yes they are they um often they organize events during or after the crowdfunding campaign uh, with their supporters, so that can be like the launch of the crowdfunding campaign, but can also be like the the, the opening of the project, um, and then uh, the the supporters really become more like ambassadors of the project instead of just like a passive uh, uh, backer. Um, so, and we are also actively advising to um, to 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 do that to organize things like that or to give rewards that um, have a strong connection with the project uh, itself to yeah um, so uh, and, and and then also because you said okay uh, you also have to, to advise them so uh, what is the efforts that you have to 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 bring to to really help people uh, on the uh, on the platform and also uh, in the pre-campaign phase, in the campaign phase, and in the post-campaign phase. Uh, you mean what our role is in that? Um, yeah. We uh, well, what we notice is that people have often have like well, not not the right expectations of crowdfunding. Some people think I just put like a, a campaign online and then it fills with money automatically, and unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, like that. Um, so we um, like in in the preparation we always like check okay uh, is it is it uh, is it possible for this project to raise for instance two thousand or twenty thousand euros um, is there is is the network big enough um, do people really want to support um, and also we think along like how uh, what kind of rewards can you think of. Um, how can you like make a better presentation of your projects? Um, and we do it like uh, in preparation of the campaign, but also during the campaign. So. Okay. Okay. And 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 uh, uh, are you all, uh, because you said okay uh, now uh, you're also a foundation. Mm -hmm. And how how many people are are working here for uh, for for your beards? Uh, we have two people working full time and one for one and a half day uh, a week for the northern parts of the Netherlands. And we're looking for a new intern, so then we will be with uh, four again. And, and and talking about the business model or the, the expedition in finding the right business model, uh, so uh, what's now your business model? Uh, our main, um, well, we get some um, income from the uh, crowdfunding projects. We get uh, a success fee of 5% of the money that's raised. Uh, but because like the average amount of money that's raised um, in the crowdfunding campaign is like four, four and a half thousand euros. That's not our main income. Um, so our business model is built around partnerships with um, municipalities, housing organizations, uh, and local and national funds. Um, 
for instance, a municipality uh, pays us to train uh, citizens in crowdfunding or to train professionals in how crowdfunding works and how they can uh, uh, support like uh, local projects in their uh, city. And, and, and do you think, because uh, some, of the some of the instruments you mentioned, they are quite some short-term instruments. Uh, do you think, uh, uh, so uh, what do you think has a change to make the model also working in the future, to, to also make the model more sustainable? Because if you're depending too much on funds, mm -hmm. <coughs> funds can stop. So uh, are you also thinking about that? Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, one step, we, we, I th we started with like more like subsidies and funds. And now we have like the, our income is based on service we deliver to uh, our, our partners. So I think that's well a good step uh, ahead. And uh, we have a lot of municipalities we're not working with together yet. So in that way, well, there's a big market uh, still. Um, but we are thinking about how to to find like other income uh, uh, models. Um, we would like to work more with like the private sector, um, and we yeah we are trying to find partners in that. And like for for instance, two years ago we were just too small to be interesting for uh, for big national companies, and it starts to change a bit now. So we're working okay. on that. And 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 and, and when you said okay, we're uh, we're offering services to municipal uh, to our partners like uh, municipalities, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they have to pay uh, to get the platform in their city, or or how or how do uh, how does it work? Um, well, they pay for instance to well no yeah um, our, our platform is open for any initiative in all parts of the Netherlands, and then it doesn't matter whether the uh, municipality uh, pays us or not, so. Um, uh, a municipality uh, pays us for like additional services, like uh, a, a local uh, uh, a city portal on our website with local information and all the local projects, um, or like trainings or presentations or things like that. Um, we also have partnerships that are more like focused focused on match funding, so uh, like a, a face pay funds, like a one of the big national funds. Um, they uh, also like. Uh, like donate to crowdfunding campaigns on our website um, if it fits their criteria. So for them it's a way to find like a new group of uh, projects and for us it's a way to like be more attractive for uh, initiatives to start a crowdfunding campaign on our platform. Okay, cool. So because I really think that that that, that your platform can help uh, cities to 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 empower their 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 citizens uh, to to do things, but mm -hmm. also maybe also to do things they would normally do. Eh? We have, we've got the the participatie maatschappij, mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 participation society, uh, or how it's called in English. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> but I think this is really a good way. Uh, but do you also talk uh, with, with, uh, with municipalities about uh, matching? Yeah. Say okay, we're uh, uh, like we have some 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 things we have to do uh, 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 as a city, and we have some budget about that, and then we do matching in the crowdfunding campaign. Yeah, um, uh, we talk a lot with municipalities about that, um, uh, and we're still like working on the first like really big. I mean, some municipalities are match funding already, but they're not promoting it uh, uh, very much. And it's more like an incidental thing than that they do it structurally. Um, and we, well, we are lobbying with municipalities uh, to convince them that it's a good idea. To, if you have like a budget, um, instead of just uh, like uh, say, okay, uh, 10 projects get or get 20,000 euros to realize a project. Uh, uh, say, okay, we have like for 10, for 20 projects, we have 10,000 euros. If they raise another 5,000 or 10,000 euros uh, by uh, crowdfunding, and then you're certain that there people are waiting for the project. So there is a community around it. Uh, and also people uh, are actively involved in the project because otherwise it's impossible to raise uh, five or ten thousand euros. So yeah. I agree yeah. that would be a good idea. And yeah, 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 and 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 also maybe uh, a municipality that uh, that that that's put their jobs 
on the platform. So the uh, a combination of matching and also uh, in, in 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 asking people to to help and, mm -hmm. and, and to 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 fix the job. I think there, there are quite some possibilities for uh, for that. But I think we can talk about that for for hours. Yeah, <laughs> I can. And maybe we can do it another time. But and <coughs> but um, how much money uh, 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 now is raised to your platform uh, since uh, since you started? Uh, over six hundred thousand euros, and that's for like we have. In total, there are now uh, 190 campaigns uh, on our website. I think about 140 are like successfully funded. Um, uh, of course, some are not, and uh, some are still in uh, in the campaign uh, phase. Um, we have a success rate of 80% now, uh, so that's well uh, quite good. I mean, part of crowdfunding is that is if the crowd doesn't like the project, it's not funded. So it's a good sign that some projects aren't uh, successful. Um, and actually, what's like if you compare six hundred thousand euros to some other um, uh, like investment crowdfunding platforms, it's not that much. Um, but we are more proud of the the more than ten thousand backers that supported the the, the projects on For Your Beard. Because yeah, because in the end, because in the end, your goal is not to raise as much money as possible, but really to create social impact. Yeah. So then, also the the amount of money is isn't that important. Uh, also, comparing to other crowdfunding uh, platforms who are more into the lending or equity based uh, yeah. crowdfunding. Yeah. And and uh, what are your biggest challenges for the near future? Because say, okay, we're now really exploring our our, our business model, uh, our revenue model, but we're also talking to municipalities about matching and about other things. Um, so, what's happening right now, and 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 what are your plans for the near future? Well, I think one of the challenges is to uh, um, mm. we're now like um, like crowdfunding, and also crowdfunding for municipalities is more like an experimental, new, exciting thing. Uh, but I think the challenge is to make it more mainstream and to make it more like it's not the only way to uh, fund civic projects, but it should be like always a way that is used or whether it's like once a year once in, in two years by a civic project um, instead of just something that is used by pioneers and people who are good in trying new stuff so that's yes, um, yes, uh, 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 so it really has to be uh, also in the in the strategic uh, plans of, of, of municipalities but also in organizations uh, that are using it to, to yeah to, to realize their goal uh, in, in in the place where they live yeah and also um, in how like uh, people who are working on civic projects um, uh, see uh, crowdfunding I talk to a lot of people who say oh yeah crowdfunding no nah, just not for me and then I start like discussing okay what what are you working on what are your challenges and if I explain it's well I mean it's more a campaign instrument than a funding instrument and it's about involving people um, making sure more people know about your project and say oh yeah but that th those are questions I'm like working on I mean we don't need money but we need more people and then I say well you can like use crowdfunding as a tool to uh, get more people uh, around your project like yeah yeah yeah, it's a very really interesting discussion uh, you have there. Another question, you said you, uh, you have a, a success rate of 80%. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you manage to keep it that, that this high? Uh, because I think this also takes on control before people yeah. are entering the platform. So, so l like, like uh, uh, which percentage of the, of the ideas uh, really in the end will uh, come at the platform? Um, that's a good question. Um, I, ha I haven't the exact uh, number but uh, it might be like f from people who like actively approach us so they uh, start a crowdfunding page or they call or email us I think it's around uh, somewhere between 50 and 70 percent um, but we talk to a lot more people on like uh, uh, conferences and workshops and uh, things like that um, but the, the most important thing we do is managing ac expectations. So if I, t I think it's just not possible, not realistic to uh, fund a project through crowd crowdfunding or the, the amount of money they want to raise is just too high, I say it. And I mean, 
I don't want anyone to start a crowdfunding campaign that's not like that has no chance to be successful uh, at all. So I think that's the way we get we keep the the percentage that high because we really try to people to, to to tell people whether it's it's realistic or not. And so most projects that are started are like have a high uh, success chance. Okay, and, 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 and almost every person I talk uh, who is busy with a crowdfunding platform, they are busy with promoting the crowdfunding to their community mm -hmm. and, and to everybody in yeah. the country. So at what way do you think that crowdfunding platforms can work together to, to promote crowdfunding? Because yes, uh, there is a, 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 a crowdfunding, um, how do you call it? Uh, association or... Uh, association. Uh, but that's more from the lending and, and the equity yeah. parts, uh, that's not from donation and, 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 and pre sales So, at uh, what way do you think, uh, from your perspective, can crowdfunding platforms work together to, to make the crowdfunding story better in the Netherlands and also then get, to, get, to, get a bigger success? Um, yeah, I think we can work together more. Um, actually, I mean, we are working together already. We have, like, with the bigger platforms. We have all personal contacts and we see each other from time to time. So it's not like we uh, don't, don't talk to each other. Um, but I think in like raising more awareness of what is what crowdfunding is, especially like the donation and reward based uh, crowdfunding and why, why uh, you should like use it. I think in, in there we could like work together much more on than we do now. And it's also because I mean, the thing is, um, in in some way, we are competitors, and it's not uh, not that much unlike the 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 the, the specific uh, uh, crowdfunding projects because people choose themselves and they just find the the, the, the platform that like most suits their uh, project. But I think there is some competition in in funding sources from municipalities or like uh, companies or. So I think that's a reason, maybe, that there's not more cooperation on that kind okay. of things. Okay, I think maybe sh you should, especially when you are, are, are bundling the forces of some niche platforms who are not really competitors uh, to uh, to each other, because they can be much stronger than you knew. Yeah, now, but we are, we are working together with that, but it's interesting. And it's also, um, like for instance, we have a good relationship with For the, for the Kunst, uh, well, the, the biggest uh, arts uh, uh, platform in the Netherlands, and um, for, but they, I mean, they have corporations with like municipalities as well, but that's just another part within the municipality than we are. So it's uh, it's not like we are working together, like the two of us with the, the municipality, because it's just other people in the municipality, another department. Uh, who is involved, so that makes it also, I think, a bit harder. Yeah, 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 it's, uh, it, it, it's also really finding the right balance in, in, in that. And uh, talking again uh, uh, about For Your Beards, uh, uh, are, are there some, some new things we can expect from you the, the coming months? Um, yes, um, well, one thing we're working on is to, um, to extend the platform to a more like, um, to to, to strengthen like the, the community building part of the platform so uh, that it's it's easier to work on a and on on the preparation of a crowdfunding campaign on beforehand but also that it's um, it's it's easier to like uh, keep in touch with uh, your community after uh, the crowdfunding campaign so but that's that's a technical thing but we really think that it's uh, that, that that's a way to strengthen uh, the advantage of crowdfunding for uh, uh, civic uh, projects um, and we're also um, becoming more and more like a more knowledge institute about civic crowdfunding and how it works and how it's like enforces a different uh, relationship between the government and the citizen um, so uh, we're like writing we are writing articles about it already but it's I think you, you will hear more from that uh, in the in the future okay cool so uh, keep me posted on that and uh, thank you for the interview and have a good day thank you